and just keep an eye on me. And finally she was like, okay, get in the car, we're going to the hospital. And at first I was like, oh, I really don't want to, that gives me anxiety because then that really means like something's wrong. But you know, I think if I hadn't been pregnant, I probably would have fought her more going to the hospital, but I really just wanted to make sure that the baby was okay. So I was like, okay, fine. So we went to the hospital and we were like, you know what? We need like a pull day, dinner, and just like get away. So that's what we're doing. It's gonna be a good day. Welcome. Hi. Um, welcome to our new camera. I'm a temporary camera. Yeah, we got a, a new camera. I told you guys last vlog about how our other one was just at the brink of. Yeah. Last leg, deleting clips. Yeah. Not helpful. It deleted um, half the vlog. We yeah. recorded a whole entire vlog and it deleted probably 60% of the clips. Yeah. So we said, nope, we're not doing that anymore. We're headed on a little staycation. A little staycation. It's been a long week, weekend. <laughs> So, um, I'll tell you guys the story in just a little bit, but we are headed to um, downtown. We're steering, we're, we're not going far, because I'll explain later, but we need to kind of be close to my doctor, just in case. Um, yep. So, but we, we were like, you know what, we need like a pull day, dinner, and just like, get away. So, that's what we're doing. It's going to be a good day. I'm still it's part of Boston. All right. I was cleaning out my purse really quick. Sometimes you gotta clean out a purse. I've got... Okay, so this little thing has... We have cash in here. It's emergency Zofran. Oh, two of those. Lip. I have hydrated lips. Snack. Snack. Phone. Camera. Charger. We're good. All good? All good. And phone charger. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> us to our favorite terrace suite. I know, that was so nice. They've done this for us like the last three times we stayed. I love this place. I don't care if it's degrees. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees. The fireplace is going on. <laughs> Maybe there will be um, like a, a breeze of some sort. <laughs> How many times have we just sat out here in hot weather with the fire on late at night? What we got here? Our usual goodies. Yes, always. There's always goodies in here. This pill is so little, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> we got reservations from the front desk. For tonight, dinner at supper. Love the bathrooms here. This new camera doesn't have a super wide lens, so I can't get everything in one. Ooh, girl, you remember the water pressure here? Service. 
and it is amazing. Ain't it? It Book is. Book hat. <laughs> Stop. I told you I'm going to wear it to dinner. Wait, did I turn that light on? You did. I ruined the vibe. You ruined the vibe. <laughs> turn down service with sleep kits on the pillow. <gasps> Waters and macaroons. Can I have mine now? You want it now? I don't think I can wait till after dinner. Not whatever you want, dog. I'm gonna take the bigger one. The turndown service is my favorite, but it's making me want to just crawl into bed right now. <laughs> There's lots to do. And we still. can't turn down. We gotta. We gotta turn up. Turn up. Well, kind of. <laughs> Get ready? Yeah. All right. You can't see what anything is. Everything just looks brown. <laughs> <laughs> so we got butternut squash soup, roasted cauliflower, roasted Brussels sprouts, and these are meatballs. The meatballs. Yeah. How happy are you? I'm very, very happy. I know. Hey, look at this. Who's happy? <laughs> Me. <laughs> this is pretty decent. Is it? Like. No lie. Way to go, little camera. Yeah, way to go, little cam. This place is nice. What place? Look at that. We never heard about that. I need a little video of this. Super cute. You're saying you want ice cream now. <laughs> No, I thought you wanted ice cream. Oh, I thought you wanted ice cream. <laughs> no, I really don't want any right now. Actually, I think Ryan's mom and I were gonna go to Ikea, but I don't know if she still wants to do that. So I'm just gonna see if she texts me today. She needs to get a curtain rod and she asked me to go with her and I need to get a duvet cover, I mean a duvet insert for the guest room. Ikea has, I don't know if you guys know this, but Ikea has the best duvet inserts and they have so many to choose from. Um, so they're like my favorite place to get. And they're just reasonably priced too because duvets can be pretty expensive. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, oh yeah, so <laughs> the new camera. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm gonna make a note in case anybody's like, um, oh my God. But I was editing the footage and Ryan's face, <laughs> it's got like a skin smoother feature on this camera. And before we started vlogging, we turned it off because it just looks so, like artificial, like you, it looks like you just face tuned your whole face. Like nobody's face looks like that. And so we keep turning it off, but then it keeps just coming back on. So it's probably on now, but when you're vlogging and you see yourself, 
you can't tell that it's on. But when you're editing, you're like, oh my God. So it's probably on right now, even though we turn it off, it just keeps coming on. So I think I'm gonna take it to Best Buy and see if the guy can help me try to figure out why it just keeps like coming back on by itself. But um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up where I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you and make you think my skin is <laughs> this smooth because it's not. I always hate doing my makeup or my skincare on camera because I feel like when I'm watching it back, it looks like I'm violently putting it on. I'm not like a gentle skincare or makeup applier. And I don't realize it until I'm watching it back and I'm like beating myself in the face with my beauty blender. So I was editing the vlog back and I forgot to tell you why I need to be close to my doctor. And if you follow on Instagram, you've maybe already heard this story. So apologies, but I'm gonna tell it again. I had to go to the hospital. This was a few days before we left on our little getaway, but we were debating on even going, but I was like, it's fine. We're like, we're not going far, it's not a big deal. So a few days before we left, um, I forgot what day, what day it was, but Ryan was gone. He and his friend Robbie surprised their other friend in LA for his birthday. So they were just gone for two nights. So of course <laughs> this happens when Ryan's gone. And uh, I woke up that morning and I was completely fine. I, uh, I ran errands. I think I went to Target. Um, I went to, and then I went to the car wash. I came home and I just got this general like back pain and I thought it was from the car wash like bending over to dry like the tires and bending over to vacuum and standing up. So I was like, I'm just gonna lay down for a couple of hours because normally when I kind of go too hard during the day, like bending over and standing up, normally just laying down for like an hour will just completely, like it, the back pain will just go away. So I laid down and it got worse and I was like, this is weird. And it actually started getting centralized to like one area on my back left side. Um, and it was just starting to throb. So I finally, it was still pretty early in LA, so, but I text Ryan and I was like, I think I need to go to the hospital. And he like called me immediately and he was like, what's going on? So I told him and he was like, get in the bath. Like that always helps. Like just take a warm bath and see if that relieves any pain. So I got in the bath and it just kept getting worse. And I was like sobbing, crying because of the pain and because I was just scared. Um, like I could feel the baby moving and kicking and rolling around like normal, but with pain that's that severe i just i just was like i don't know what's going on in there i just didn't know what it was like if the baby was actually okay so ryan found the 24 7 number two because it's the weekend ryan found the 24 7 number to my clinic and i called so i called that number i got in touch with the on-call doctor who was at the hospital and she was like try warm bath and i was like i already did she said, take a Tylenol, wait an hour, and if it gets worse, then you need to come in because it's obviously not just back pain. So I took a Tylenol, 45 minutes later, the pain was just getting worse and worse. It was getting so sharp and just even more centralized. And so Ryan tried to get on a flight. He was like, I'm gonna drive to the airport. I was like, no, I don't want you to like try to change your flight because like you probably would get stuck somewhere. Like just keep your flight. He was getting in that night. So I was like, don't change your flight because it's just, I knew that would have been a disaster. So he called his mom and um, his mom came over to the house and just kind of sat with me and just keep an eye on me. And finally she was like, okay, get in the car. We're going to the hospital. And at first I was like, oh, I really don't want to. That gives me anxiety because then that really means like something's wrong. But, you know, I think if I hadn't been pregnant, I probably would have fought her more going to the hospital, but I really just wanted to make sure that the baby was okay. So I was like, okay, fine. So we went to the hospital and I didn't have to go to the emergency room. I went to, they had me go to the labor and delivery section. So I got in like a gown and a bed immediately. They immediately hooked the baby up to a heart monitor and she was perfect. Her heartbeat was great. So that was like, a little bit of relief just to check the box off of me going into preterm labor they hooked me up to like the thing that monitors contractions and i wasn't having contractions i kind of knew that but 
maybe I didn't know that because I don't know what that feels like. So that was a relief. At this point, the pain was so bad that I was shaking uncontrollably. You can't hook up an IV until you're fully checked in. And it just took, it took them like an hour to get me fully checked in. And the pain was just getting worse and worse. So they finally got me checked in, got me pain meds. And I think they just gave me like a really high dose of um, Tylenol. And I think within like an hour and a half, the pain had gone down to where I could actually like function and have a conversation. But everything in, in like that moment was a blur. I, I don't even remember <laughs> um, much. Finally, the doctor came in and she was like, I, we're gonna run some tests. Like for sure, I, I think it's kidney stones, um, but we're gonna run some tests anyways. She was like there's only so much we can do because you're pregnant. We can only do um, an ultrasound. Like, we can't do an MRI, we can't do anything like that. The ultrasound tech came in and she looked at the baby first and foremost, she looked at my gallbladder, my kidneys, my stomach everything. All my results started coming back. The baby looked perfect. So immediately I was just like, okay, more relief. That makes me feel so much better. They, my, uh, then my kidney scans came back and she said, okay, it's not kidney stones that we can see. Then my gallbladder scans came back and that's where the problem was. She was like, your gallbladder is so inflamed. It was like, you're just going to have to, you know, follow up with your doctor and see if, like just see what the plan is. Now that we knew what it was, I just felt more comfortable. She was like, it's, you know, it's not like life-threatening. It doesn't need to come out immediately. She was like, if the pain is persistent every single day and it's this bad, then it does need to come out immediately. But she was like, if you go home and you don't have another issue, then she was like, it's fine. She was like, this is just a flare up. Could be something you ate. I, I don't know. So, <laughs> um, they discharged me after like six hours of being there and went home, felt fine, saw Ryan. Ryan came home that night, never been so happy to see him. The next day had another flare up. It wasn't near as bad. This flare up only lasted like four hours and I was getting scared because I was like, oh my gosh, this is the second day in a row. If I have to get this thing taken out, like I really don't want to. So then the next day was completely fine. The next day completely fine and I haven't had any issues since. And they told me to stay away. Like my nurse was like, stay away from fatty food, spicy food. Like this is what probably cost it in the first place. But I was thinking, I was like, okay, for breakfast that morning, I had oatmeal with peaches. The night before I had potato soup with toast, super bland. And then for lunch that day before I had um, sal like a grilled chicken salad. So I was like, I don't, I haven't had anything spicy or super fatty in the last like 48 hours. So I don't know what it was, but I haven't had any issues since. Oh my gosh, I just made such a mess with my mascara. Um, so I see my doctor on Wednesday, so in two days, because of course she was out of town also <laughs> for the whole week after that. And my, my triage nurse was like, you need to follow up with your doctor like within the next couple of days, she needs to see you. But she was gone for the week, so I'm only able to see her this Wednesday, so in two days, but I haven't had any issues since. So, um, you know, I think the, why they needed me to see her was to see if we were gonna take the gallbladder out or not. But I, I really, it's, I don't think it's necessary because I haven't had any issues. My nurse told me, strangely enough, I had no idea that gallbladder issues are so common in pregnancy. Crazy, but I think I'll be fine. I think I have to keep my gallbladder. <laughs> I hope so. I just, I mean, I just don't know enough about it, but I'd rather just like keep all my organs, <laughs> you know? But overall, it was just really scary just because there was, you know, a baby involved. I think I would have been a lot more chill about it if it was, if I wasn't pregnant, you know, that being pregnant is just a really scary thing to like not know if your baby's okay and just not know what where the pain's coming from what i'm gonna do with my hair i think i'm just gonna probably keep it in ponytail i need to get like look <laughs> where my hair is grown out i need to go get it done my my doctor told me she said anytime in the second and third trimester you're good to get your hair colored i think i'm gonna just go get some baby lights put in probably in the th third trimester or when I get close to the third trimester because this <laughs> this looks so bad I mean obviously if it was you know if she said like absolutely not then I wouldn't even worry about it but she she said it's not a problem at all and the girl who does my hair here 
she was like, I have two employees who are pregnant and worked their whole entire pregnancy. Like it just, you're, you're fine. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Don't come at me for it. My doctor said it was okay. She brought it up, not me. She gave me this piece of paper that had everything that was like safe, like all these medications that are safe to take. And there was even like a section of cosmetics and it said that coloring your hair is fine. So I didn't even ask, it just came up. Someone in the comment section in the last video did ask me if I was getting filler in my face and absolutely not. Um, I think I'm, it's just swelling or just pregnancy weight gain because I am gaining weight pretty rapidly. So, and whenever I do gain weight or lose weight, I notice it quite a bit in my face. So I think that's just where that's coming from. But no, I'm not getting a filler. So Ryan's mom just texted me. We're going to Ikea in about an hour. One thing I did notice about this camera that I do like is there's like an internal stabilizer. So you might notice it's not as shaky. Um, so like if I was showing <clears throat> like an outfit, how I normally do and make everybody sick, it's <laughs> uh, not as crazy. So this is definitely a plus. I was just, did I zoom this in? I don't know. All right, the high today is 105. So I think I'm just gonna wear this black dress with some sandals. I don't know if I told you guys this last vlog, but we bought Winnie and Stella a swimming pool. And even like, it was just too hot yesterday <laughs> to even do that. Um, just miserable. So I think it's supposed to die down and get back into like the low 90s in a few days. But until then, <laughs> staying inside. Gotta move. I'm never, ever gonna stop. Two favorite comforters from Ikea. We brought this one. And this one's extra warm. This one's light warm. And I'm just getting a regular white duvet cover. This one is very soft. So I'm getting this one. Move. I'm very impressed with these pillows. Uh, it's like a memory foam. Like, I can't explain it, but this would be feel so good for tummy support at night. Go! <laughs> Alright, I just got home from Ikea, unloaded my stuff. You know how those duvet covers, they need like a few days to fluff and get their shape and get that smell out? Came up here to my office. I can't remember. Why did I come up here? <sighs> I need a second. <sighs> I remember this shirt I got from <laughs> um, Thread Up. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like on me now. It's, uh, it's a little short. So yeah, this is the stage we're at right now. Belly. I haven't eaten a ton today, so the belly isn't too big. I feel like the footage from the hotel, I just eaten that melon, so I was like, I just was so big and I felt big. I need to edit something and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I think I'm gonna do a knockoff harvest bowl from Sweetgreen. It's always my favorite. Um, Express goodies delivered. I haven't opened that yet. I'm going to open it tomorrow. Um, I'm partnering up with them again later this month. So I'm excited to try all of that on. Getting those two duvets for the guest rooms made me so excited because um, right now we've got three, I think three extra bedrooms. Um, one my brother's in, one is the nursery and one is completely empty. So when my brother moves out, we're gonna have two guest rooms and then we'll have the nursery. So getting those duvet inserts made me excited to put those together and that means the nursery is gonna come together. Oh, I'm just excited for that. Okay, going to edit really quick. Slip painter's tape on the wall. I'm gonna edit really quick and I'll see ya for dinner. 
All right, just got my sweet potatoes in the oven for my salad. My sweet green harvest bowl. I've got my long grain rice in there. I um, opened up the duvet covers that I got from Ikea and we put them in the guest room slash going to be nursery because it does take a few days to air out and fluff these up. Like you can't just open them and use them and they're fluffy because they've been kind of like wrapped up and they need a minute to breathe. But like it's already getting pretty fluffy. Get this cute. Hold on. I have to show you this little PJs that I got from H&M. Look how cute this is. This. H&M has such cute baby stuff. Um, and it's it's so soft and so reasonably priced, but it sells out in like five seconds. So if you see something you like and you're like, oh, I'll just next time I order, I'll grab it. No, it's not gonna be there. It's gonna be sold out. Okay, sweet green harvest bowl. We've got a bed of kale under there. Chicken, wild rice, goat cheese, sweet potato, apples, almonds, and then top it off with a little balsamic vinaigrette. All right, just got into bed. And, um, no, 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 don't watch my tummy. Watch my tummy. She's still laying on my stomach, but that hurts. Getting on Ryan, he's, um, Finishing up the dishes and then he's gonna come get in bed. But we're watching the bear and we started it last night and it was so like the first episode was so chaotic that we had to put the subtitles on. And I don't think I took my eyes off the subtitles the whole time because I just like couldn't keep up. Um but it's it's good. I like it. I know that there's like mixed reviews, but um we like it a lot. Oh, I've got my my new pillow right here and then I've got my actual body pillow on this side so I've got support on both sides because I'm really trying not to sleep on my back I wake up on my back all the time or I'll wake up to like Ryan rolling me over because he sees me sleeping on my back now that I have this body pillow um, I'll usually like tangle myself around it on my left side and I usually don't move all night, but my fan's on my right side. So I usually find myself turning towards my fan, but I don't know. I think Brian and I might have to like switch sides. Um, but I think if I wedge this pillow kind of like under my back, it'll keep me from rolling over. I don't know. My doctor hasn't really said anything about that. I've just read so much about not sleeping on your back after a certain, I think it's like 28 or 30 weeks. Um, so I'm just trying to get in the habit now. My doctor hasn't really said anything, so... I'll probably ask her about it when I go to my appointment tomorrow. I mean, I know why, because I did research, but um, I just want to get like her take on it. All right, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to end this vlog. Probably start the next one in a couple of days. Take a couple of days to film some reels, some style videos, and then edit, get those out. Um, and I still have my mango haul that I need to post on here. So it might have already gone live, <laughs> or it might go live right after this, one of the, one of the two. But um, but let me know what videos you want to see. If you want to see more vlogs, what you want to see in the vlogs, less baby stuff, more baby stuff, just kind of what you guys want to see. Um, and in terms of like fashion related videos, what you want to see. Um, yeah, but I'll see you next time. Bye.